Okay, so it's been a, quite a while since I made any videos. And um, the main reason is that it's so useless, a lot of things. Just a lot of it's pointless. It has, um, a lot of people are speaking, talking, discussing, philosophizing, theorizing about so much stuff uh, that YouTube is already jam-packed with so much stuff. So most of it, if boiled down to the essence, it should all try to describe the point of life because if anything the um, the urge in truth is to know what is true what is truth what is real what is reality what the point of the universe is what the point of life is why or what these things should be let alone the how the how is way too complicated but even the why and of course most videos are made from, for two reasons, either they're made because of sharing, because of a natural uh, urge to share, or it's made out of uh, the ego, which is to, to feel important when you have videos that people are watching and they're liking it and they're commenting on it. And that's why you see so many people nowadays when they say, hey guys, I'm here again and I wanna thank you so much for um, all the great positive feedback I had on my last video and all that stuff, right? So it's obviously something that says, hey, I'm so important, I'm somebody, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm pretending I know what I'm doing and because you guys are all reacting, it must be very significant what I'm doing because I'm getting so many likes, when obviously the most likes given to people on YouTube videos are for people who uh, have very little value, if at all, any value um, whatsoever. The dumbest people get the most views, generally speaking. So. It seems pointless to, to keep making all these videos in some kind of attempt to describe the universe and the point of life or what's going on or what life is about or what, who or what are we, right? And that's what, of course, my videos are aimed at, uh, always describing my own experience as I delve into the realms of consciousness, the dimensions of being, all these different layers of what this universe is and what life is about. and the psychology behind it and you name it. So I haven't been making videos because I don't see the point. There's so much stuff out there. There's so many people speaking about things. That I, I, it get, I'm tired of it even. I'm tired of listening to all the people, all the non-dual teachers and, and tech talking about the true nature, all the um, whistleblowers describing what's really going on behind the scenes with all the secret groups and all the in, uh, interdimensional influences and the, the war between good and evil and God knows what. Yawn, yawn, tiring, exhausting. Oh, why do we even give a shit anymore after a while? Because it's just a whole lot of blah, blah, right? And just when you think you figured out the next layer, then you think, ah, now I'm finally somewhere and you're nowhere because it's just another layer of, sh of shite, right? Of confusion. Um, but, I do want to say one thing that to me at least, because I haven't been making many videos and I have been pondering, like I always do, the uh, purpose of life, because I see no purpose in what humans are doing. Uh, generally speaking, whether people are doing sports or business or art or living their lives for traveling and doing whatever they want to do and making money and all the things that people are engaged in, when you look at the essence of what they're doing, they don't know what the hell they're doing. They don't know why they're doing it. They don't know what they're doing. They're just flinging it. They're just going for some programming that has been conditioned society-wise. Society so it's the social conditioning and religious conditioning and personal conditioning and family, familiar conditioning. And so it means absolutely nothing when you look at what people are doing. So I do question always the entire realm uh, of the known and the the, the known world, let's say, or the known dimensions of existence, but also the, the, the dimensions above or deeper behind um, our superficial existence, which means exist, to, to exister, means to stand out, which is to stand out from the original source. And so existence, uh, I, I do ask the question, and, and then I wait. And in silence, and in uh, quantum resting, sometimes after going deep enough um, realizations or insights are released from the quantum field of self-knowledge and the other day I was standing somewhere I think I was in the kitchen and I was thinking about something like most people do because we live in the world of existence of the mind and the movement of objects the thoughts and 
emotions and the storyline of our lives and what we're busy with. And I was pondering the uselessness of all these things that I've been seeing, like for example, soccer, the football games that are going on, the World Cup. And it just, I'll, I'll make another video about that as, because it's a religion, all these things are religions. And suddenly I, I was reminded of coming back into the moment and so immediately I'm here, present, looking at everything. But I was, I was focusing on why? Why would such a pointless existence be so engaged? People are so engaged with this. And then I, I came back and, and immediately I, I, I still had the question, like, what's the point? You know, what's the point? What's the point of all this useless behavior that humans are exhibiting? Dragging themselves across planets in planes and putting on stupid little costumes with, with Ronaldo shirts and stupid shit like that. And, and the stadiums that have been built for it, and all this stuff, the insanity that, it, that it, it's a totally insane place. Why would such a thing be? And, and because I was immediately pulled back into the now for, for a, by um, let's say awareness, by let's say my true nature, immediately I was pulled back into the state of being. So I was in the world of becoming existence existing and then I was pulled back into the world of being and immediately I realized what the point was of being the point of being which is the higher realm and I'll go into what being is because I've gone into previous videos but being is the purpose of being you see there is a, a, a creative analogy that you could give or a, a model that you could give of of the universe and the universe is created in an instant or whatever we know as the known worlds dimensions are created in an instant because they're not in time time is an illusion at a lower level so the entire universe is being created as we speak it's a constant moment momental it's a momentous it's one moment of continuous being creation right so what happens is if you use the spiral girdle i think i have a video that's called the spiral girdle of eternity the spiral model is like a cone and each world is formed in a circle and as it circle closes at the tip or the end when the circle closes right at the end top, at that moment awareness arises so you could call it I so oh, I awareness arise at the end of the creation of its world then the next world down is created and at the end of that circle full circle round I is created of that world, the lower level of I, awareness. And then each level going down, seven levels. I is created at the end of its own world. And therefore each I or awareness is always aware of the world it does not inhabit. Okay, so you got to understand, imagine these circles closing. And if, as each circle closes, I of that world is looking down at the other world that's next created. So it's never aware of its own world. I am always the world that I am. In other words, we are the, of the world of being and we're looking at the world that is not our own world, which is the next world down from us because I is always created at the end. So it's always looking at the moment it arises, boom, it pops in existence. It's looking at the next realm down because it's looking from itself. I awareness, I'm always looking from what I am. I am what I am. I am that I am. I am the Father, the life, the truth. I am, right? That which I am. I am that I am. The I am awareness, consciousness, presence, being, that is my world. And my world is, as I appear at the end of my world, I look down at which is not my world, that which is not my world. So I'm always looking at the world that's not my own world. And so what we are, we are the world of being, consciousness, awareness, presence, um, pure perception, whatever you want to use these kinds of words to, to describe that which you are, not the body, not the mind, not the conditioning, not the belief systems, not the words, but that which is aware of all of it, that principle that is aware of everything. But the things that you're aware of is the world of existence, which is the world next down. And so I was standing in the kitchen pondering the uselessness of human behavior and why so much energy would go into this wasteful behavior of stupidity and ignorance. And as I just was called back by awareness to rest and let it go and rest in the present moment, just be with what I am and what is now right here, 
the moment, immediately I realized, well, the purpose of being, the world of being, is being. That's the whole purpose of being. Being is being. That's its purpose. Being is its purpose. Because that's the world it is from. It's from being is the world that is that principle, that dimension. Let's say the essence of that dimension, which is our true nature, is being itself. And its purpose, therefore, is just that. Being. Now, existence is the world we're aware of, the world we look down into. As being, we're looking into the world of existence. All of this, our body, our thoughts, all the ideas, all the concepts, every single thing that you can become aware of, that you are aware of, including many things you're not aware of, is the world of existence. We're only aware of a slight Chinese section of existence, like we're not aware of so many light of the light spectrum or sound or ultra or, or ultrasounds or anything, right? We're, we're so limited even in the world of existence. But the world of existence, the world that we are looking into, is not our world, and that we call existence. So that you have the world of being, or the dimension of being, the realm of being, and its purpose is being. And we have the existence, the realm of existence, and the purpose of existence is exactly the same thing as being is in world, uh, in its world. Its purpose is exactly what it is, being. Is, its purpose is also being. And in existence, the purpose of existence is just that, existence. It's the becoming. So being is just being, and existence is existing. And the purpose of existence is just that, existence. Not the existence of harmony, or only good and not bad. Not the purpose of life and not, let's say, physical or life, let's say, and not dying. No, everything, cancer, children getting run over by cars, everything existence is just existing the purpose of existence is just existing it's existing as chaos it's existing as order it's existing as everything between destruction and creation and all of it is in existence existence the only purpose it has is to exist and there is no good or bad in existence there's just existence and that would be the essence of the purpose of existence so if you question What's the purpose of, let's say, life? And when I'm referring to life, I would be referring to living this existential realm of form, everything that can be known. It's just that, existence. It exists merely to exist, not to exist as perfection or as goodness or as rightness or as only love. It exists as duality. It exists as everything in between, the gray, the black, the white, everything in between, right? And being, is the world of being which is the purpose is just being now being is unaffected by anything good or, or bad because being is being being is unaffected that's why the true realized masters are unaffected by what happens in existence because they're resting as their true nature in the realm of being they are one with themselves the being level of what we are and they're looking into existence and knowing and seeing and thinking and aware of all these things in existence and they know that yeah well that's the world of existence it's just existing but i'm being stable unaffected untouched no good no bad no right no wrong because in being there's only being so that's the idea of the true medit or the true um, spiritual life the true reason for realizing your true nature is to be able to be being to be and as being, all is well. In existence, things are good, things are bad, things are right, things are wrong, things are up, things are down, things are hot, things are cold, things are light, things are dark. A constant play of existence. And it's true. It's, it's, it's true that it's right and it's true that it's wrong. And it's, it's not right or wrong. Or good or bad it's both it's all of it it's existing existence purpose is just existence manifestation a, an, un, an endless amount of expressions of all sorts of things so now it is true to do the marriage of being and existence let's say being and becoming a true harmonious a marriage brings more harmony to existence so if the human being 
is in its being, is being, is aware of its being and knowing it, that it, that's its home, that's its world, that's its realm, the being of what I am now, then the existence into which the being looks, the being is aware of existence, that existence that the being is looking into becomes more harmonious because I know my place. My place is home and home is my world and my world is being. I am of the world of being and I look into the world of existence. The purpose of my being is being and the purpose of existence is existing. And in that, all is well. All is well. Thank you.